it's really heavy is what I'm picking up on because there's just so much deception here, right? This is the underlying energy. And you really do want to be with this person. You want to work it out with them. The Three of Pentacles, I think, is here at the bottom of the deck underneath this Hero Font card. Okay, so keep that in mind. But you need to be, that's why this Nine of Wands is here. You need to be on the defense because, man, I am so sorry. There's like major confusion here, you know, that it would be best for you to walk away from because the Eight of Cups is also there. <laughs> Empress collection. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I'm hoping that I'm finding you in good energy. I know that this quarantine has been <laughs> just a bummer. I mean, oh, such a bummer, but pull yourself out of that and find the peaceful side of it. Hopefully you are doing well. I think the numbers, you know, we watch as they rise. A lot of us are going to be dealing with letting go and um, just to say it flat out death. So Hopefully I can help you, um, you know, move forward, protect yourself, whatever it is that we need to do, whatever information needs to come forward for you at this time. Now we are going to be focusing on love today. And if I didn't say it, we are going to be talking to Cancer. Cancer, I see you're ready to go. Look what came out, Cancer. Death. Okay. There is a waiting here. There's a patience game. There's an ending to something. And we were talking about love. Wheel of Fortune. And, and this is life. Cancer. Okay. Spirit has a message for you today. Let's see what they want want you to know. I'm actually hearing switch these two. But it doesn't matter. Your essential energy is around death. Cancer, there may be someone that you're watching. Someone, it's you, You're definitely in a waiting sense. I think there may be a fear here of death. But please remember that death is about change, okay? You're looking at an ending to a relationship. This is also an ending to business, okay? Because to me, the Four of Wands could actually be a structure. Do you see how it goes to an establishment? It goes into the home. And don't mind my nails, they're a little long. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. We have five of cups, so there's definitely some worry. I'm hearing despair, Cancer. Um, waiting on transformation of a situation. Could be waiting on a, a change of residence, I'm hearing. Somebody could be moving. Somebody wants to move. Mm-hmm. Because of incidents and things that have happened within a household. And do you see how this person is moving away from that household? So maybe somebody wants to move. Yeah, they want to take action on this as well. Uh, there could also be a fire sign that's within your headspace. That would be um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. By the way, this is also Aries season. I think we're right in the middle, time frame wise. Yeah, your other person is Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. This could also be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone that's withholding their emotion, but does it because they are um, seasoned. You guys know what I mean by seasoned. If you, if you watch me, you know seasoned for a reason. You know, life experience has touched this person to where they are able to control their emotions. But there's definitely a deception here. Two sevens also. So you're marrying each other in the sense of you possibly have a project or something that you are creating together. Five of, excuse me, I see I almost said five of swords, but this is four of swords. Okay, so I'm hearing somebody digresses. You're, you're looking back. You're taking a step back. This person is taking a step back. They are thinking. Yes, this is spirit messages. Anytime I see bubbles, I think spirit. 
messages. Washing the dishes, spirit is there. I mean, that's mainly when I see it. I've always done that. Somebody's also not interested in winning. But the, do you know how, okay, so somebody waves the white flag, right? That means you, you surrender to something. You're thinking about whether or not you're going to surrender. And I'm, actually, I'm not saying you, actually, this is your other person, but, you know, take it how it resonates. If you feel that I'm speaking to you, Crosswatcher, I could be speaking to you. Oh, these cards are tingling now. Yeah. Hero font at the bottom of the deck. Important. Yes, very important. This is the beginning of something new. There's a truth that's going to be coming out. Your other person is going to speak a truth regarding this ending. Some They are being deceptive. Yes, ten of swords underneath both of you. The lovers in the middle and then five of wands. Oh. Oh, wow, Cancer. Cancer, quite a bit going on here, okay? Within a marriage, all right? Taurus energy, definitely very strong right now. Um, this is about rights and wrong. Uh, this is about working a marriage out. Your other person in the, in the past has been very, very deceptive. There's been a grave injustice that's happened. And someone is getting ready to choose to fight with you. And the, the, the center energy of this reading is for you, Cancer, to go within, to protect yourself, to cleanse yourself, and... Fight for yourself. You have a fight coming to your doorstep. It's almost like I'm seeing a verbal attack with this five of swords here coming to your doorstep. Um, yeah, because sometimes I see, wow, this is such a powerful card. And for it to be in your upcoming energy... It's spirit is warning you. Spirit is saying, see that you are getting ready to be attacked. I see attack on multiple sides here. Okay. And the, what they are coming at you with, they're coming at you from all different as from all different sides. Four, four and 10. Yeah. Like nine of swords to all type of sides. Like you, you're going to be upset. If you do not recognize this energy for what it is, you, your answer here, is to just literally, I, and when I say bathe, protect, and cleanse yourself and your home, that's the only answer I, I see here. Okay. Um, I also see that there there's other deceptions here. I, I see that there could be somebody that when this truth comes out, they took a while to think about how they were going to lie. And it's, it's for someone else's benefit. Remember, this is our vulture card. And this is not in, in the good sense, vulture. It's just not. It's someone who was waiting. They are waiting. See, you're waiting patiently to provide and take care and reap from your harvest. Things that you have planted fair and square is what I'll say. But these individuals and more than one are waiting for your downfall. And they are choosing to fight with you for this. They're going to fight. 
And there's going to be a truth of clarity regarding a, a marriage that's going to come out here. Oh, I really want to know how this ends up. We're going to put some clarifiers on this. Um, I want you to journey with me when we go and we take a look at this, guys. Because the deception that's here that this person is choosing to bring in, there, I see here there will be an end to it because of the truth. There will be a transformation. And in your row, you have the 1111 card here. This is the card of Twin Flames. This is the card of good energy. This is a blessing. This is a union. This could be a marriage. This could be, you know, within your energy. I know that you had five of cups, but you just have to turn around and look at the other two cups that are there, Cancer. You know, remember, we said that this is a love relationship. Love doesn't always have to be, you know, sexual intimacy. Now, it's here in the cards, so for a lot of you, yes, that's what it is. But for some of you, it's just the everyday bonds that we have with our family, where we're shown support. Okay? You know, you, you may be wanting a change of pace. You may be thinking about the past and how you had to leave your home. I'm looking to see if there's anything else regarding the moving. There may be, yes, you, you're going to have to be patient if this is in regards to moving. I, I At this time, the work that it would take for you to move, and, and you will find clarity on this because Spirit is speaking to you. Um... There's more than one aspect as to why moving may not be feasible at this time. So make the best of your situation and understand that your soulmate cares for you and will work with you. That's, that's just for like a few of you there, okay? But the, there's, okay, and I should probably clarify that for some of you, you're in a situation, you're in a living situation where you're content. It's just irritations, minor irritations. For the rest of you, you are leaving this situation. It is time for you to go. Um, the quarantine has truly made you realize that. And when you have the opportunity to move out, that's when it's time. And, and it's probably going to be when there's an ending to everything that we've been waiting on. You know, the quarantines and such. So... Yeah. Interesting, right, guys? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm looking at the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is very important, you know, because you feel like you've been waiting a very long time. And what they want me to tell you is that this is going to come to an end for you. Okay, there will be harmony. You will see the truth about the deception that is coming in. And your soulmates are actually going to help you get through this. All right, just remember, they're not always, you know, the, the sexual unions. Um, could even be an earth sign, but someone that you're working with. Okay. Um, your other person, please be aware when they do come at you, they're going to come at you with an offer. There's a, there's an offer here. What's the offer? Something generational, something that you have to learn to heal it's going to be major whatever it is like it's it's going to be life changing okay because it's that 1111 card we talked about that 
So if you guys are feeling the vibe the way that I am and know that these cards are tingling, uh, go ahead and check me out on the extended Vimeo link. We'll discuss all of those things we always discuss. Um, what you're not seeing, what they're not saying, vice versa, and the rest of the outcome with the healing path, okay? Because we're going to heal this. Peace and love, grace.